Oh yeah, I hate the printing press. She hates the printing press. Through all evil. That's a longer story. It's a story for another day. By the so way, by the way, like literacy uh, shouldn't have happened. It was bad for society, yeah. and that's why we're going to talk about Streets of Rage being adapted into a into a movie. Perfect, and that's where the printing press was a bad idea. She believes that, not me. I do, unironically. Mass literacy was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it did actually lead to uh, the Reformation and then the Enlightenment. I heard how bad that Reformation was. Horrible. Yeah. I heard the Enlightenment was bad too. Pretty bad. Puppies, kittens. Rainbows. Rainbows. Pancakes. Anything like that's bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stretching. Why do you think I burned my hands earlier? Oh yeah, it's hot. What the hell, Miracle? <laughs> <laughs> Andy forgot his food, so he asked me to make him food. Thank you. Eat. It's spicy carbonara. So that would be. Is this, you know that spicy ramen challenge that everybody was talking about? Nope. Oh, so there's like another company that has this cute little chicken and it's called the Prudok noodles. And Prudok means like chicken flavored noodles in Korean. And it's like, it's so adorable and they have different flavors. And I gave Andy the carbonara one, which means it has cheese in it. Oh, I could definitely see there was cheese there. Yeah, and so I added two eggs for him. He was like extremely hungry today. He saw me like make one and he's like, can I have one? I'm like, wow. That was nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind. Like usually I grab like two things because maybe somebody's like hungry. Usually I feed Andrew. I don't know. Yeah. It's like whenever somebody's hungry, I'll feed them. So what's up with the trash bags? Oh. Nothing. <laughs> Are you hiding a body up there that we should know about? No. It's not raw eggs. But the trouble with ice cream is it melts. I like the one that melts. Like it when it melts. Stop talking. Okay, sure. But I don't want them to, so we're good. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to invite us on a show to tell us to talk, but not all the time. You guys are Shut the up. <laughs> You guys are the ones on a schedule today, so I'm trying to be respectful of your time. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Look, we're full of good ideas. This is like the yeah. best thing about being a pop culture. Today is the 100th episode. We are about to record um, this booklet, which I started on episode 30 on the 9th of January. It's now full of notes with everything that we've covered and talked about for the show. And we're filming episode 100 today. And then after this, I'm going to have to go out and get like a new notebook. So, 100 episodes. It's a big deal. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. No, I'm actually psyched. No, it's so cool it's made it so far. Do you think that we should give it away to somebody? The notebook? Yeah. Uh, I mean, and it's really nostalgic. Shit. I think um, you should like put a dart in it and like hang it up on the wall. That's a good idea. Oh. I'll, actually, I could frame it and put it behind Or like out of the, in the background to start stacking them and it'll get higher and higher as we do this. Mm. So, that's, uh, it's exciting. It's exciting to me. But it only happened because I borrowed a piece of paper from Yes, uh, <laughs> yes, that's, she, she needed a piece, what was that for? I was sending a letter <laughs> to a person. I found a, to a what? <laughs> yeah. Why, girl? What are you up to? You're a are you also, funny? Are Someone you also, just stumbled on a, into an interesting story. <laughs> Wait, it's none of y'all's business. Nick writes, whips camera around, being like, this is a plot for the vlog. So you, like, write <laughs> letters to serial killers and stuff? No. <laughs> no it's just a home intruder. It's different. <laughs> Let Mary live her life. We met He's on the very universe. misunderstood, and I know I can change. Are you trying to convert him to Catholicism? Totally, yeah. Okay. I mean, I think that's why you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So you can change him. He's your it's a project. Classic the women. The ultimate. Let women. Am I right? Let me get a yeah. word. Is he a, a white color criminal? Like, yeah. 
Nice. Yeah. So, so it's like Enron. You'll be able to do your taxes next year. Oh yeah, perfect. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We've done it a hundred times before, at least ninety-nine times before. Yes. Are we good? Game? <laughs> you just have to start. Three, two. What is going on everybody? This episode 100 of Pop Culture Crisis. 100 episodes, holy crap. My name is Brett. I'm here with my co-host. Introduce yourself, please. It's me, Mary. Oh, cool. Hi. That one's pretty good. Yeah. A dash. Yeah. It's nice, too, if you, like, do that and then attack right after. You got, like, a nice launch attack. Oh, it'll multiply it? Uh, it won't change your damage, but it's a good way to approach enemies. We got another puppy for Stella's friendship. Can I show them the puppy? Okay. So, so cute. Here's the puppies that Jessica kind of wants us to adopt. She's trying to find families for all of them. Mm -hmm. And they're so cute, but the oh, problem man, is I don't want a small them. dog, and everybody's trying to convince me to get a small dog. That be, might be a good way to learn how to take good care of a dog. Well, I have. This is not too small. See? Yeah. I don't know. Size. Because, like, this is a dog that I want, and they said no. Oh my gosh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> That thing would murder you. Don't know. But they're so cuddly and they're so loyal. And you know, pit bulls originally were supposed to be nanny dogs. They're really? They're bred for fighting, but they're great now, like modern day, as like little nanny dogs. That's not true. Oh. Okay. Oh, you have to fight Tim for it. The majority of dog attacks are pit bulls. Ah, uh, yes, I know. People being mauled and killed all the time. People don't <laughs> like to hear that. When I tell people that, they show me pictures of their cute pit bulls, and I'm like, I don't. And there's like this weird care. myth about nanny dogs. That's not true. Really? Where did that come from? Someone made it up because they didn't like that people were saying that pit bulls were murdered. Uh. Wait, what about um? Have you seen the Instagram account um MVP Bullies? It's no. like. They're pit bull breeders in Texas, and they- They're trying to sell pit bulls to you, so they need to tell you that they're nice. Oh. Well, it's marketing! Well, Miracle, don't fall for it! No! <laughs> Do well, it! Their most viral video is, um, their son, I think he's like now five years old, but when he was an infant, they had like their female pit bull like basically snuggle up with their it's baby. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. it can work. That was about oh. buying up houses. They're like, we'll buy your car house, no questions. Maybe that's what it was. No. I looked them up. They're Chinese owned, like yeah. here in Northern Virginia. And I was like, oh, shit, dude, it's everywhere. And the other day we were looking up another company that's like, we'll buy your house. We pulled up the Wikipedia and it said at the top of the page, it was like, just so you know, we can't verify where this company gets their funding yeah. from. And I was like, are you fucking joking? You know exactly where it's You know exactly where it's coming yeah. from. Yeah. There's it's there's some of this a lot of this is going on in the farming world, right? The ag world right now, Teton Ridge, um, the four six is getting bought by, you know, Taylor Sheridan who has a net worth of something like $4 million, there's no way that he bought four sixes. There's no way. The four sixes was like $150 million yes. property. Oh my gosh, like, that's insane. So and he's probably investing groups through this. Well, it is. You're talking about Taylor Sheridan, the direct, the actor director? Yes, he's yeah. the writer director, yeah. yeah uh, writer director, director. Right? Yeah. Yellowstone and Sicario Maybe. and some other stuff. Sicario, well, uh, one of my favorite movies in the last two decades, that's Sicario, at the end of the first one. Uh, the the border crossing scene is probably my favorite scene put to film in the last ten. One in the tunnel. The, no, the no, one from the first oh, one yeah, over yeah, going yeah. over the border. He smokes those dudes in the Yeah, yeah. 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 So, <laughs> so, <it's> like, <laughs> sounds great. Yeah. Uh, it, it is, but you know, it's like it's an expert. There's a really great video that says, it says uh, how to build ten. It's like expert building intention. You have to you have to actually watch it to understand like the through the sound design, uh, the barking dog that you hear. It's it's incredible, but. Strong recommend on that movie. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The every the everyday comedian is not like they don't the, trust. the effects are, of an uh, investment company are not as acute. Yeah. Like they don't feel them right away. Whereas like if you're going to buy a cell phone or a phone service or whatever, like from AT and T Bell, mm -hmm. and your only option is AT and T Bell across the whole country, so yeah. you see it in your face <laughs> all the time, rather than just uh, elevated real estate prices. And plus, I'm sure the tax codes are all written to protect those types of investments anyways, right? Like, uh, why they can have subsidiaries, like, no, you can't own 50% of this company, but you can own 10 companies that each own 10% uh, or 5% of this company. Yeah. 
really well. They smell amazing according to everybody else. Yep. Who ate them? <laughs> nobody. No, nobody. Nobody, nobody yet. Nobody They're resting. Them. 